Hello. In this episode, the Honda Vision was sold as a bad starter, told not to even ride it home. Can we get it going? Cue the intro. <laughs> Disconnect it. Let's take the leads off. Okay, let's check, see if it's got oil in it. Yeah, that's full of two stroke. I'm not worried about that then. Battery terminal back on where it belongs. That'll do for now. Right, let's push it out. Okay, so first time the key's going in. Now, if I remember correctly, back brake, quarter throttle, start button, any more, you'll risk flooding it. Let's see what happens. I'm proper nervous, I want it to run, but I also haven't looked at anything, so it's a bit risky. But anyway, let's do it. Okay. No way. That, no, no. No, no way. That's running, like, first touch of the button. I reckon, because it was an old lady, the battery was always flat, she struggled to start it or she couldn't kick it because that's not a poor runner and if that fuel's a year old that's impressive yeah do you know what it's just fired up it's insured i insured it yesterday i've taxed it let's ride it Here we are then. I feel like I should be like in Spain in flip flops and a t-shirt, it's a full bike gear. Um, but I want to be safe and also I'm not a plonker. And I don't even know if this rides ro properly or not yet. So I've got my breakdown cover. <laughs> but it fires straight up. So yeah. Right, here we go. Hopefully this is all going to be all right. Let's try this out. Okay, here we go. First time, first impressions and all that. Oh, it's pull in all right see that was just my mirrors so I can see all the cars I'll be overtaking at 28 miles an hour this thing needs a really good clean though I'll say that beautiful oh the smell of two stroke oh yeah don't need any candles anymore the smell of two stroke just put this at the helmet head mansion and rev it up oh yes 
Right, let's go. I'm stuck on a, a mount. Hopefully that'll hold for the camera. Oh my god, I've got some feet in front. Right. Oh, that feels weird. That feels really weird. It's like I've got no weight on the front end. That's it. Oh, hang on. The speedo's not working. That's interesting. We've got no miles per hour. I can't do a top speed. Right, brakes work. Let's hope that that kicks in in a little while. Or oh, there's an old... All oh, the old cable, isn't it? It's all right. Hmm. Anyway, let's just get going. Let's try this out. All right. We're still going, people. At least it's running. With <laughs> that's a start. Might need to be replacing the speedo cable, though. Or I could buy one of those funky push bike ones, can I? Wow, this feels <laughs> slow. <laughs> This feels really slow and really wobbly. Oh my gosh! 28 mile, 28 miles an hour. I'm not sure about that. Oh, that feels weird. That is, that is power. Right there, power. Ready? Let's rip it. Let's go. I could probably get them run. Right there we go. Here we go. Okay, we're still, here we go in. I don't even know what speed, I'm, I want to know how fast I'm going. This doesn't feel quick. I reckon a race bike could probably overtake me without any issues at all. I really do. But hey, it's running, year old fuel, and we're going along. So, who cares? Oh, that feels well unstable. <laughs> Now, I just want to get some French stick and start going around. Do you want to buy a French stick off of me on my little scooter? That's full throttle. I'm just pinning it. I can feel the power beneath my bum. I don't even know what brake horse this is. I'm going to guess now, and I'm going to say it's, um, I'm going to say, right, it's two. Right, there's a bend coming up. I ain't going around that quick. I don't even know if the tyres are any good. I put them up yesterday. Maybe I should have uh, tested the pressure before I took this out. Doesn't matter. Feel, it feels like they're up. Oh, yes. Now, I'm hoping that, that speedo cable's not snapped and it will, uh, I don't know, magically fix itself in a minute. Go, 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 go. If not, that'll be a little job. New speedo. Check it out, though. It's going. I don't think it, uh, this can't even be 28, surely. This has got to be more like 15. Surely. Surely this is 15 miles an hour. Or am I just used to the power of the monkey cycle? I don't even know where I'm going, really. I just thought I'd go out for a poodle around. Oh. <laughs> This is so slow. I feel... Oh, oh. Hey, at least you can enjoy the countryside as long as you don't mind that feeling of, like, falling off constantly. Sorry, I keep unpinning it like I need to brake for the bends. Oh, beautiful. It's nice, though. It's not... Oh, I'm, not I'm not on the relaxation stage yet. I'm a little bit nervous still. Look at that. I've not done anything to it other than pump up the tyres, charge the battery. Uh, the interesting fact will be to leave the battery for a day and see if it fires up alright the next day. And if so, that's fine, because I can put it on a trickle charger, never worry about it going low again. So my conclusion quite clearly is, the old lady, bless her, she struggled to kickstart it, she let her battery run flat, and that's the reason why. She didn't mention the speed though, so I'm hoping, like I said, that might just be a, wig a wiggle. I'm going to have a look in a bit when we find somewhere um, a little bit shaded. Because today is a roasting day. I was sweating before I got on this. I don't know if I dare take this on like a main road. I'm sure it'll be alright. 
I've got to take on a main road to go 85 miles on it. Yeah, I could have a have a cup holder there with a beer in it. Be all right. Obviously, no alcohol, officially, maybe. And I'll be all right. No issues there. Although she feels like she's getting some pace going now. I wonder what she'd be like if you put 97. You know you buy 95 fuel. If I buy 97, will this old girl go even quicker? Premium fuel in it. Oh, I'm backing off of the bend. I don't even need to. But I feel like I have to. I can't, I can't take it full whack around a bend. Just in case. I mean, who knows how old these tyres are. Go, 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 go. I won't be racing the uh, the Sidekicks Vespa on the Vision. I might race him if he gets an older version of this. Uh, put some like power boost in it or something. Jet fuel. Woof. I can't believe it's running so well though. I'm getting used to it being wobbly, but I think that's probably just age and the size of the wheels. No, this can't be that good. I haven't done anything to you. Uh, well, I might have to if the speed speedo doesn't work. Replacement speedo cable. That'll probably cost me about £3.50. Starting to relax a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it likes the bumps. Oh, yeah. Right, let's talk about first impressions then. You've just pretty much heard it. It does. It's got little wheels. You feel the bumps. It doesn't feel very quick. Brakes seem all right. I don't know if I want to do an emergency stop on them. Well, I probably would. Um, Power-wise, it pulls off. It flows. Yeah, first pressures is I'm impressed. I mean, you know, I might have only paid 15 or 20 quid the first time I bought one when I was 13. But that was knackered and I fixed it. But this is a, you know, paying nearly 400 quid for this. But yeah, I spent some money on some proper accessories for this bad boy now. Definitely. So I want to talk about obviously cost in total for me. So I'm a, I'm, I'm a very young, young, slender, good looking man. And um, I'll be honest, my age is 30, um, 38, 38, yeah. Okay, so it's 38 years old. Insurance on this now. I'm pretty sure and this is fu like fully comp, but uh, but like right, the the voluntary excess is 250 quid, compulsory 150. So that's the price of the bike. So I'm not really expecting to um, get any money back. But anyway, I've still gone fully comp, pointless. Um, but there's nothing in it. Um, so so yeah, insurance for a year on this, 70 Great British pounds. Well, he's not an happy chappy, is he? Yeah, 70 Great British pounds. British road tax we have to pay to fill all these potholes that we keep hitting. Yeah, that's worth it. Um, that's £20. And it classes as a moped, not a scooter. Or well, actually, no, it classes as... Well, it's a moped. It classes as a bicycle tax. Not a motorcycle tax, a bicycle tax. <laughs> so basically, it's a bicycle with an engine. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling the power is like unreal. What are the dogs doing in the road? What are you doing? You're going to control your dogs there a little bit, love? Hippie, hippie shake. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I mean, it's going to be a long, <laughs> long way. So, yeah, I just hope that more people donate towards it. Um, towards the cost of it they get their names on it and we share it and we share it everywhere um, because when the ride happens this is the point I'm hoping that we can seriously raise some money to PTSD UK now my lovely wife bless her she's written to a, a few of the local papers etc see if we can get a little bit more of a rally behind it well this is an ill this will be interesting oh and horses I'm sure they would be scared of a uh, of a moped thank you Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so hopefully we can get some more press on it. But as always, like I said, £30. The reason why I said it at £30 or more is because of the graphics. Um, I want to get some cool graphics put on it. And I think, you know, they're not going to be cheap. I'm going to be honest. They're not going to be cheap at all. I don't think. So I want decent ones. But we'll see. If not, I'll put my own on 
I'll make something up. Um, but it'd be nice to have people's names on there, wouldn't it? All the people that have got behind this run, their names appearing on this bike, help cover the costs of it and the accessories. Obviously, I'll be paying out my own pocket. Don't worry about that. I'm not asking people to give me it free. Um, and do you know what the funny thing about doing anything charity-wise event that I've noticed on the channel when you do it, and it will gain, don't get me wrong, but the people unsubscribe because they don't like it. You know, I want to be, you know, this is just asking. No one has to give it. It will still be funny to watch. You don't have to support it. If you're not a person who wants to give money towards PTSD, that's fine. You know, everyone, it's your own choice. You don't generally feel like you have to unsubscribe um, and also don't feel like you have to give any money. This is for people who want to do it. Um, same for me. I don't have to ride this bike all the way to the coast and back and it's not it's going to be a giggle but it's going to be a hard work and it's going to be dodgy riding this on a dual carriageway is going to be dodgy but you know what? i want to do it because i want to raise some money and um i think it's important but if you don't want to give money don't feel like you have to unsubscribe or or, or give a, th a thumbs down it'll be a giggle just watch it and enjoy there's another helmet head adventure i'm just doing it for a reason that i think is important anyway let's not go on about that we're still going we're still going Oh no, it says I've got like less than a quarter of a tank. Do you know what? Maybe I should go and back and fill this up. Or find a petrol station. Or go to Harborough down the main road to fill it up. How even more funny if we can find the road to Harborough. Oh no, it's going up again now. Oh yes, downhill run. If I had the speed up, I'd be gunning this. Knowing what I'm doing. Got to be able to fix that quick. Woohoohoo! Go, 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 spam it! Oh yes. Do you know what? It's a bit of shade up here. Let's just have a quick look at the speedo and hope it starts again. Well, I've just literally given the thing a wiggle, so I don't know if it'll make any difference, but I thought I'd give it a go. I think it might be snapped. Come on. Straight up every time. But let's go, I'm going to go. Let's find somewhere cool we can show this bad boy off. Probably have to go get some fuel in a minute, though. I'm a bit worried about how much is actually in it now and how good that gauge is working. There is stow, still no sign of speedo. I generally think, yeah, the cable's got a snap, in it? The old girl. At least that's an easy job to do. Go, 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 go. So we're not far from the petrol station. Good old cheap Tesco's. Um, we'll see how much this costs to fill up then, because it's just on top of the red. Like I said, on the flat, so. Some nice new fuel. If this fuel's over a year old, this girl might go a little bit quicker. How much do you reckon? I reckon three quid, maybe four quid. I reckon. And when I was a kid, it would probably cost about a pound to fill up. But then I never rode one of these on the road properly, so I don't really know. Just like I said, 13 years old, I had one of these. My first little, first little bike. And it's back in town. That's all indicators work. That's a good sign. Motorcycles, that's us. Right then. Let's find out, shall we? How much will it cost? Set to the top. Two pounds seventy one. Look at that, full juice power. Be interested how much it costs to run it 85 miles. And if it'll go 85 miles on one full tank. It cost me about three quid to fill it up, but it's a little bit lower. I'm laughing, aren't I? Well, I'm kind of got onto it now. I'm just relaxed, almost riding most time-ish, one-handed. Um, I've put premium fuel and it said on it fuel 99, so I'm guessing now it's gonna go 99 miles an hour. But I don't know again, so hey, who knows? But I feel like I'm just chilled. Who cares? It's like one of those bikes now. I'm in the country. It's beautiful. I've got some water. I could fill the basket with pies. That would make it just the best machine in the world. But, you know, I'm happy. I'm chilled. You just can't be in a rush on one of these bad boys. Look, that truck driver's jealous. He's, he's, he's overtaken. So yeah, what a beautiful machine. So I think it's time for a montage. You know, the thing that will show the awesomeness of the vision 
the chilledness of the vision, the sexy beastness of the vision. Because this is a Honda vision and this deserves its own little montage. Charity machine rides. Like I said, let's try and sort them out with the, with the with the speedo. But yeah, it's still there. The graphics are going to be ordered reasonably soon. So, like I said to all the YouTube channels out there and the people who would like the name part of this, thirty pounds or more on a donation, and we'll get your name put on the bike for the big charity run. And we're going to start doing things soon. The more money that we can get together, the more crazy stuff we can do to this bike. So there you go. The thing is, if you want your name, like I said, thirty pounds or more, and um, we will stick your name on it and we'll do some more and more and more crazy things. And uh, we'll do this and fun this together. And then we can put a date on it. But I want to get the graphics ordered reasonably soon because I don't know how long they're going to take. Um, and once we've got the graphics ordered, like I said, I'm going to stop the GoFundMe to be able to fund the bike and all the stuff to do with it. So I don't know how much longer you guys have got. But if you want to do it, this is the time to. And then the other brilliant side of it is once that's done, we're going to push massively on to try and get awareness and raise some money for PTSD UK. So I'm dead excited about that. But yeah, the little the little vision's going. As always, guys, I want to say a huge thank you to people that subscribe to this channel, gives the videos a thumbs up and follow it, and follow the, the, like, the whole Helmet Head journey. You guys are amazing. And my patrons, they're the guys that get to see all of the videos first. If I do a series, they normally get to see the whole series before anyone else. So if you're interested in supporting the channel, the funding, the camera equipment, the fuel in the tank, etc., etc., on a regular basis, become a patron. It's like paying for a, a TV subscription or, you know what I mean, those sort of things. If you look at it like that, it's something you really enjoy and you want to help me fund it and keep these videos flowing like they are, please look at Patreon. It's in the link below. It's really cool. And thanks to those guys. Shoe shout out, as always, to Steve Bolter, high tier patron who gets regular shout out on this channel. The guy's absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. The most important thing, guys, as always, eat pies, ride motorcycles, and be happy. Until the next adventure, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.